to the wonderful and exciting world of printmaking. I'm Mr. Howerton, and today we'll be talking about three big things. What this class is all about, the syllabus, and classroom rules. In order to do all of this, we're going to need some help from a few friends. But before we introduce them, let's turn up the saturation in here. There. That's better. Our first friend is Tank. What's up, my dudes? Our next friend is Jenna. Oh my god, hey. And our last friend is Simon. I'm just so excited to be here. And we're excited that you're all here. Now let's begin with what this class is. Printmaking. Printmaking is a class that involves creating a design and using a matrix in order to create multiples of that image. Whoa, matrix? You mean like this? Different kind of matrix. When I'm talking about a matrix for this class, I'm talking about something that you're altering, uh, such as a piece of plexiglass, metal, linoleum, screen. One thing you should know is that if you're scared of sharp objects, do not take this class. We will be using sharp objects frequently. Sharp objects? Yes, Simon, sharp objects. And if that really bothers you, you can go talk to your counselor about getting out of this class. But you'll have to wait until next week. Are there any other reasons we shouldn't be in this class? Yes. If you haven't taken and passed intro to art or drawing, then you cannot be in this class. You can also ask to be taken out of this class if you already have your fine arts credits and you're not interested in taking this class. Just know that you will deeply hurt my feelings if you get out of this class. In fact, I'm, I'm getting sad just thinking about it. Oh no, a spill. How am I going to clean that up? There's no need to worry. We've got a massive roll of brown paper towels. This excessive roll is just what you need to clean up that mess. With just a few sections, you can clean up anything. Clean up anything. With just a few sections, you can clean up anything. With just a few, you can clean up... If you just, just grab a few sections, then and use this, then you can clean up anything. See, easy cleanup every time. Brown paper towels. Find them on the back counter today. All right, now I know what you're thinking. Wow, this production value is through the roof. But to be completely honest, 
This was totally free. Yeah, I know, right? Now you might be asking yourself, why is Mr. Howerton a blue cat? And why is that blue cat in a science room? Isn't this an art class? To which I say, stop questioning everything and just enjoy the fact that you're watching a cartoon in school. Truthfully speaking, going over the syllabus is pretty boring, so I thought it might be slightly more fun to if I were a cartoon. And this background and character were completely free. All cleared up? Cool. Moving on! I'm going to keep this kind of vague because I want to be able to use this for the next, oh, I don't know, 40 years, and my syllabus will probably change. Just know that the full syllabus is up on Classroom or whatever academic system we're using in the future, like, I don't know, Amazon Teacher, ElonMusk.School.com, or Taco School Bell. I don't know, any of those seem like real possibilities at this point in time. The big thing to know about the syllabus is that it has a list of assignments that we'll be completing throughout the semester. Those can change at my discretion. There will be a final. You've been warned now. But you can be exempt from the final. You have to have a 93% or above leading into the final in order to do that. Every assignment I give will be graded using a rubric. I will always write it on the board, but there will also be paper copies made available to you. You can rework any assignment for more points as long as that assignment was turned in on time and appeared to be completed. That means no turning in blank sheets of paper and saying, well, I turned it in on time. Now, here's the one that will make a difference for most people. Late work will only be accepted during the nine weeks that it was assigned. Work from the second nine weeks of the semester will be accepted up until two days before finals begin. Now, there are more details on the syllabus, but this is the big stuff that you will want to know. Ultimately, if you just make an attempt and turn in your stuff on time, you will pass this class. Probably not with an A, but you will pass. If you want to get an A in this class, you've got to work for it. I'm not going to just hand out grades. You've got to earn it. Cool? Cool. Well, I think that's all. Um, see, wasn't it more fun with me as a cat? Now a word from our sponsors. The following scene was brought to you by Cheez-It. We take the time for our cheese to mature. Real cheese matters. Wow. If only my students could act as mature as the cheese baked into every delicious Cheez-It. Wait a second. Am I stuck in cartoon form? Hold on. Let, let's try this again. But, you know, don't forget about the part about acting like Cheez-Its or the cheese in Cheez-Its. I really don't want to record this thing again, okay? So don't forget about that. But let's try this one more time. But Mr. H... We don't know how we're supposed to act in here yet. Simon, you're right. And that's the final thing that I need to talk about. The classroom rules. There are 12 simple rules that you guys need to follow in order to get everyone through this semester without making us all lose our minds. Rule number one. <clears throat> the first rule, no talking while I'm talking. Rule number two. Rule number two, if you want to listen to your own music, that's fine. I just ask that you wear headphones. I also ask that any time I'm talking to the class or instructing, you take the headphones out. Because let's be honest, it's just kind of rude. Rule number three. Chromebooks shouldn't be out unless instructed. Rule number four. No food. You're not as clean as you think you are. Rule number five. Only drinks with screw-on lids. Oh no, a spill. Rule number six. Watch a demo the first time I do it. If you ask me to repeat it, you're going to have to watch another one of these cheesy videos. Rule number seven. I can't see me, love.
love and nobody but you for all my life. Please, no singing the songs that are playing in your headphones. It's just awkward for everyone. The following rules were brought to you by the letter K for keep your hands to yourself. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. Don't touch. No PDA. Seriously, find a better place to make out. That's bogus, Mr. H. No. That's just weird. Ugh. Hey, what's that smell? Um, I'm wearing deodorant. It smells really good. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. Deodorant! Wear it! Thank you for sticking with us through all of that information. I know it was a lot, but you made it through. And Tank, thank you and your friends for helping us out today. Of course, Mr. H. It was our most excellent pleasure. I hope you have all learned how to operate in this class. And just remember, if you forget any of the rules, you can always watch this video again. No way, Mr. H. Not doing that. Let's hope not. Thanks, everyone, and we will see you next time.